Hi guys, Battle Group Gamer here, coming at you with another broadside of naval action, and today we are playing Cold Waters. Um, at the end of our last episode, we were in place outside of Oslo, Norway, to get ready for this amphibious assault group. And I'm actually going to change my weapons out. Continue on course and wait for these bastards to show up. I don't know why you're so adamant on pushing so far south. Clear, moderate breeze, so... Not going to be very noisy at all. And we have a weak thermal layer at 206 feet. And a weak duct above that. Yep, 88 decibels. I mean, it's a lot, actually a lot noisier than I thought it would be. On sonar, new contact bearing two. Let's four, get to five, identifying these. Sierra three. Con sonar, new contact bearing two five three. Designated Sierra four. I think I recognize. Yep. Con we sonar, might. new contact bearing two four eight. Designated Sierra five. Con sonar, Sierra 3, is classified as merchant. Con sonar, Sierra 4, is classified as merchant. A <laughs> lot of robuchas. Con sonar, Sierra 5, is classified as merchant. That might actually be a warship. Con sonar, Sierra 1, is classified as escort. And I still haven't uh, heard all of them. What do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. That's it? That can't be it. Raise the ESM mast. Lower the ESM mast. Ah, there's two more. And there's one down here, somewhere. Get down to 200 feet. Just above the layer, so that when I come across, you know, accurate solutions, I can fire my missiles and reload. I can imagine E6 or Echo 6 is going to be another escort. Is that a Cashin? Con sonar Called Master 6 it. is classified as escort. There you are. So, oh, I'm sorry, that was a 7. Echo 7 is probably another escort. Although I'm not 100% sure on that. Which way are you guys going? Right towards me. Con, dive at 200 zero, zero feet, dive by. Okay. There... oh. Oh, there you are. Is that another Cashin? Con Sonar Master 7 is classified as Escort. Well... Okay. Oh, there's a fourth Escort somewhere. I'm guessing back here. Is 
Maybe if I slow down some, I can uh, get the next or the last guy identified and detected. Yeah, there's one over here somewhere. Well then. As of right now, the Supper Mini is the closest to detecting me, but he's still very, very far away from doing so. No close-in weapon systems on the Cashins, but the Sovereign Mini does. is the water here. Okay, 1,200 feet. <sighs> so far, none of the guys that I have, or none of the escorts that I have identified have any of the uh, rocket-launched torpedoes. So... Very fortunate that I'm in this channel. They're also starting to get kind of close. Alright. Oh, shit, that's right. Make depth four, five, eight, die, bye. Well then. You can almost pick me up with that active sonar. Oh! Oh! turning towards me. Okay. So, here is... Okay, yeah, I've got to... I got to move now. Raise the radar mast. Aye, sir. Shoot two, three. Aye, sir. Come left two, one, one. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Con sonar, well, wait a second. Wait just a second. Feet. 
Sovereign Mini right there. Yeah, I'm not slowing down just yet. Wait, how many... Oh, I've only got two of those Call left. Room. Tube one ready. Well, they keep trying. I'm glad I didn't slow down. Con maneuvering. Making turns for three, three knots. Okay, some of these appear to be serpentining. Make depth four, five, eight, die by. Con, helm. Oh, Eddie maybe course. not. Certainly is an odd spiral design there. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. That was a lot of SSN-14 torpedoes. I'm suddenly wondering if I got my uh, classifications correct. Because there should not be that many SSN-14s in my vicinity. There really shouldn't. Definitely in active pinging range. Con sonar regained contact on master three bearing two four three. Con sonar regained contact on master four bearing two five four. Con Where sonar that regained contact okay. on master five bearing. Well, seven is that, as escort. that was a very bad classification there, guys. Okay, that one's at least a cash-in. Con, helm, steady course. Yeah, I'll say that is. Con, dive at four, five, eight, dive by. Okay, where are the escorts? Yeah, they can all hear me. Second there, I thought I heard helicopters. Oh. 
Oh dear. Con, torpedo room two four ready. Flying in the reactor space. What the hell? In the reactor space. Oh god. Damage control parties. Lead of the reactor space. I can't move. That was a good damn drop from the uh, helicopter. Oh, of course. Shoot two three, aye sir. Ooh, glad I had that that moss. Eleven percent hole. No, no, don't circle back. Don't circle back towards me. Con sonar. Torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water. Bearing. Shit. Three, one, nine. Passing 100 feet. Yeah, that's not going to help me, is it? Bye. Ugh. All of them escaped. NATO admits loss of nuclear sub. A NATO spokesman has confirmed Soviet claims that a U.S. nuclear attack submarine has been lost in action. Although details are uncertain, sources close to the Pentagon say loss of life was minimal. Most members of the crew have been safely recovered and are already ashore thanks to a determined rescue effort. So, lesson learned from this battle, always identify your targets with absolute certainty. I thought this group was surrounded by three Krivax and a Savaramini, um, but nope. Uh, they were actually frigates equipped with SSN-14 torpedoes, close-in weapon systems, and shot down every single one of my missiles. And one of them had a helicopter, which ended up ruining my day. But we escaped, we lived, we weren't captured, so guess what? Campaign continues. And now we are in Corpus Christi, huh? Red Army in Norway. A successful amphibious assault has been made on Oslo, Norway by Soviet forces, opening yet another front as the enemy continues to gain ground. Immediate questions have been raised as to what should have been done to protect the coastal region of Norway from a sea-based assault. Well, other than the fact that me, one person, is responsible for eliminating the entire Soviet Navy, you know, you could, you could beef up the manpower just a little bit. Would have been nice to have some backup. Satellite Recon has revealed an enemy raider group transiting at high speed towards the Soviet coast. We believe a small unrep force is operating in this area. You are ordered to interdict this group and sink any replenishment ships in the area. You may also get a chance at the enemy warships this group is intended to support, but tenders and tankers are the mission target. Of course, now that it's, you know, 36 hours later, I've probably failed this mission. Towards the Soviet coast. Oh, that's... That's gonna be a satellite right over me. Hope for West Germany. Allied ground troops broke into Soviet-occupied territory in West Germany yesterday in what could be the start of a larger counteroffensive. Fighting is reported to have been particularly tough around the North Rhine 
Westphalia, uh, where partisans joined the fray after arming some 300 locals. According to army sources, the resistance fighters fought bravely, but to murderous losses. Alright, where's this unrep force going to be? Right there. Can I get there in time? Oh. Oh, come on! Soviets reload warships! Because apparently one mile away from contact is too far away. In an incident deemed highly embarrassing for the U.S. Navy, it has been revealed that Soviet warships could resupply at sea by tankers and other support craft near the Soviet coast. Furious politicians demand an explanation. If we cannot intercept lumbering tankers, what chance do we have to catch fast warships? Once again, I divert to my argument that I am the only subskipper in the entire NATO forces that can do my job. Enemy landing ships, sail within three days, and Doya, Norway. Oh, crap. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Wait, damn. Can we pick up on any of them? Wait, shit. 81 decibels, it's plenty quiet. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. Three, one, zero. Designated Sierra, one. I think that's a... No, it's not an SSGN. Con, sonar, Victor Sierra, three. one. Is classified as submerged submarine. Uh, let me turn. Wait. Come right to zero five six helm I. Con helm steady course. Well. If I can keep this up for long enough... Whew. Shit. Time to get out of here. I'd have been fine until he started pinging. But now that he's going 20 knots. knots, maneuvering eye. Come left to three, one, five, helm I. I don't have to worry about. Uh, well, thanks for the heads up. Where am I? Uh, crap. Make turns for three, three knots, maneuvering up. And turn hard to starboard, because this is about Con, to get fucking rough. In the water. Torpedo in the water, bearing two, one, two. Gone fire control, we've lost the wire.
Time to dance. Or at least I'm going fast enough to form a knuckle now. God, knuckle formed. And form God, another knuckle. knuckle formed. Form another knuckle. Wait for him to reacquire me. What is that? Maybe if I can keep the noisemaker between myself and the torpedo. Yep. God, knuckle formed. Although it won't happen a second time. Uh, wrong rudder. There we go. God, knuckle formed. And our submarine has located our target. But Come left to I would one, like to get away. Helm, I. Uh. Yep. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. Last bearing two five nine. Contact is in the baffles. That was such an easy dodge that I. Ooh. Seafloor looks like it might be rising up here in a second. But yeah, I didn't even change my depth to avoid that torpedo. So while he runs from my torpedo, actually. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing two, six, one. Noisemaker and a knuckle. Pretty close. Would be nice to get rid of this Victor. Three. Well, he's definitely getting closer. Terminal guidance. Con, target road, two one ready. And boom. Con, sonar, there we go. Sierra one. Last bearing two six five. All Contact right. Up. Good job, guys. Wait for this uh, miscal to to load. Ready. And leave combat. That's all that there was. 
And I know, not my mission objective. Oh, okay. We got the Distinguished Service Medal. Four, exceptionally meritorious service as commanding officer, USS City of Corpus Christi. Oh, that's the whole name. SSN 705. Battle group gamers' steadfast devotion and superior tactical decisions have consistently brought success to his unit in action. For the most part. His conduct reflects great credit upon him, this command, and is in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Shit! Well. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. Come left to two, two, eight. Helm, I. Make depth five, five, zero feet, dive by. Try and get above, or around 200 feet above the floor. That way I can let my towed array out. Still 88 decibels. But, oh, oh, yeah, that'll do. Oh, yes. I'm very, very glad. Because those are cruisers, and they make my life rough. <sighs> this time, rain and moderate breeze, so it's a little bit noisier. A lot noisier. Come right to two, three, one. Make turns for three. Three knots. Maneuvering eye. Yep. Turn around and get the hell out of Dodge. And it's definitely noisy enough for me to do so. Con maneuvering. Making turns for three. Three knots. Maybe I'll be able to uh, get into place outside of Andoya before the end of the episode. Watch me end up rushing headlong into a whole action group. And I was unable to hear them because I was traveling at 33 knots in water with an ambient noise of 102 decibels. That's like a rock concert. Probably not. I bet rock concerts are louder. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Okay, how about now? Good. November and a Victor 1. Yes, get the hell away from me. Okay, so we're going to leave it right here, right now. And uh, when we pick up the next episode, we will be in position to stop another amphibious landing. Hopefully it goes better than the last one. Although I think I will put a lot more effort into, you know, proper identification of enemy combatants. Because if I had done that all the way down here outside of Oslo... Hey, wait. Interestingly enough, there are no red tanks along southern Norway. Okay. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'll make sure to properly identify targets this time, because I I totally would have gotten that that entire uh, the, well at least the entire merchant side of that invasion force if I had properly identified targets. But yeah, that's that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching this one, by the way. Feel free to leave a comment, feedback is always appreciated. Like the video if you enjoyed what you saw, and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode.